Right now I'm bodybuilding. Mm. Bodybuilding. <laughs> and it's taken some time for me to, to really want to embrace bodybuilding because I've been such a brute for so long. All I've wanted to do is smash heads and tear shit up. Where bodybuilding is a bit more conscious in its approach, a bit more methodical in its approach. I've never really been much of the methodical type. I'm pretty spontaneous, intuitive. But with bodybuilding, it's giving me the challenge of uh, building my body in a very refined way. And so, of course, uh, exercise programming and execution of, of training, I'm very mindful of. And then also with regard to diet, I've known myself long enough that eating the typical bodybuilding diet of 40 to 60% carbohydrates at various times does not work for me. It never has. My insulin goes up and I get fat and foggy. So uh, I was drawn to your book because I knew that a cyclical ketogenic approach would just fit me most naturally. And I'm getting huge, I'm building muscle. I'm just not getting as puffy as I was when I was a strong man because I cycle my carbohydrates and I'm much more mindful and methodical about when and how I spike my insulin. So a good percentage of my week, I'm eating higher fat diets. Mm -hmm. You know, 80%, 80, 70% fat, Ten, twenty percent, twenty, twenty percent protein, but then carbs are like ten percent, mm. yeah, mostly from vegetables and stuff. But then, like every third day, or when I'm just feeling it, or um, just feeling flat, I'll just I'll I'll spike it up there with some uh, granola bars and bananas and uh, white rice, so you know things of that nature, just to get that pump, get that. Get that, there's something medicinal about that also too, you know, being in that, that flat state or that ketogenic state or just low carb state is great. It's, it's medicinal, but then there's also something about getting that burst yeah, yeah. of uh, insulin and, and glycogen that uh, does wonders for my body and mind. I mean, mm. Definitely. <laughs> and the, the, this kind of cyclical approach is symbolic of this kind of anabolism and catabolism as well of cycling back and forth between growing and and contraction so definitely <laughs> even in in even in our body's physiology these kinds of patterns get manifested it's kind of funny yeah yeah there's nothing that will humble you more than fighting against physical resistance in hopes of expanding yourself even if i die it doesn't matter boom that is oneness, that is meditation, that is integrity, that is unity. Our sense of ourself is so huge that if we try to draw it into this frame, the frame destroys. If you're going through a chaotic or a crisis moment, just know that on the other side of that breakdown, on the other side of that deconstruction is a brand new you, a stronger version of you. The path is there, we just got to step on it.